It was Walt Borer that was his public relations expert, and he was the one who invented the black cat as their mascot. So he had written a series of little booklets on uh, flying, <clears throat> how to crash land in the woods, <laughs> pick a soft t tree. He also had a um, student by the name of Dorothy Hester, and she was an exceptionally good pilot. So he decided that uh, she might make a good stunt pilot. People didn't have any place to go on Sunday, and they'd come and they'd sit under the wings of the airplanes and have their lunch and wait to watch someone get killed. She was one of the first pilots that did an outside loop in an airplane. It was quite a novelty at that time for a woman pilot to do all these acrobatics and so forth. It was May 1930. I was 19. They hired me to fly for them in the Omaha air races. And I fly because I love to. And I hope you enjoy my stunt. And that is where I made both the outside loop record and the inverted snap roll record. 62 outside loops and 56 inverted snap rolls. In time, and with Dorothy Hester's help, Texas attitudes softened, and the rank in school turned out more and more accomplished female pilots, including Edith Foltz. Mary Riddle, whose Indian ancestry gave rise to her unofficial stage name of Princess Kick a Hole in the Sky. And Leah Hing, reportedly the first Chinese-American woman to earn a pilot's license. My dad had the restaurant, the tea garden, and Tex Rankin came up to eat. And he said, why don't I take up flying? I was talking to him. He said, I said, I couldn't afford you. He said, why not $2 a lesson? I said, OK, $2 a lesson, I could go for that. My dad is quite modern. He said, you've got to do what you want. So that's how it started. Tex Rankin was up there eating chop suey at our restaurant. Charming fella. Uh -huh.